on Local 24 News, meteorologist Chelsea Chandler. With the Mid-South Certified Most Accurate Forecast. All right, well, nice and quiet for us right now as far as the radar is concerned, but that could be changing as we get to the rest of the day. So you want to have that umbrella ready. Go ahead and throw it in the back seat because you may need it throughout the foreseeable future. So we'll get to that in a minute. Right now, again, nice and quiet, just nice and muggy. Look at these temperatures on the right, what it feels like on the left. 90 degrees is what it feels like and what it's felt like all morning long. That's disgusting. 91 in Dyersburg, 92 in Jonesboro. As you can see, we're in the upper 80s, low 90s, no matter where you live. So again, it is all thanks to these dew points in the 70s so air you can wear uh, again advisable if possible grow some gills it'll help you get through this uh, air because you're going to be swimming through it you don't even have to get out and break a sweat the weather will do it for you as far as what it's going to do to your temperatures it's going to continue to keep you in the suppressive state for the next several days despite the fact that we're going to be seeing rain in fact it'll probably just make it even worse but it is going to add about 10 degrees to our temperatures all day long so no matter what the temperature is Go ahead and add on those 10 degrees. So we're going to see 78, feel like probably 88, closer to as we get to the rest of the day. 91, again, going to feel like 101 degrees. Now, as we get into the rest of the afternoon, you're still going to see a mix of sun and clouds. You are going to be seeing about a 20 to 30 percent chance of rain. So it's just going to be the heating of the day. Again, it's not very organized. We're going to see those popping up uh, as we get into the afternoon hours. Should clear out, though, in time for any evening plans. Now, 101, that's what we're going to feel like today. The good news is not hot enough for us to have a heat advice. That would be 105, but it's still going to be enough to make you miserable. So just be prepared for that. Make sure you are nice and hydrated before you head out the door because once you're thirsty, it's a little too late. So make sure you're also keeping an eye on your body. If you're sweating, you start feeling kind of nauseous and lightheaded, go inside, cool down. If you stop sweating, you need to seek medical attention immediately. You may be having a heat stroke. Otherwise, we are still going to see enough sunshine that you're going to need to put sunscreen on. UV is very high, so make sure you're taking care of your skin and reapplying that throughout the day. Now, as far as the rest of the day, again, or excuse me, the week, we're going to see these numbers in the upper 90s so still plan for it to be nice and toasty despite these rain chances so they've dropped for the weekend very isolated pop-up showers we're used to that in the afternoon but as we head into the next week we see a more organized rain pattern getting really towards the middle of the week we're going to see that up towards about 50 percent so again today it's not going to be a washout you're going to see a mix of sun and clouds through most of the day head into the afternoon hours you're going to see those pop-up showers and thunder showers but they clear out for your evening plans same system as we head into uh, Saturday Saturday. You can see again once you get into the afternoon a little bit more, but Sunday morning a little bit earlier around 10 11 o'clock. We may start to see that rain. So as far as your seven day forecast again, we are going to be seeing these temperatures just nice and warm in the 90s uh, actually where they should be. So we're not off the mark here. It's just going to be really soggy as we head towards next week, but there's time for that to change. So we'll keep an eye on it for you. Of course, right here on local 24 as far as your roadways are concerned.